This question tells us that Diana has collected more data and she's fit the log linear approximation using regression analysis. Well, what's important to remember here is that we're finding the ln of q, which is equal to the constant plus the coefficients times the ln of each variable. So it's not like a linear regression where we're just finding q. And this last paragraph talking about the data cover prices from three to five dollars, advertising from 200 to 400, populations from 50,000 to a million, and per, per capita incomes from 30,000 to 45,000. What's important about that is we can't extrapolate out of range. So given any price, let's say of eight dollars, we wouldn't be able to do a reasonable estimation because our data only cover prices from three dollars to five dollars. So it's very important not to extrapolate out of range. The question is, assuming marginal cost is equal to $2, and the using the fact that the profit maximizing price is the elasticity over one plus the elasticity times the marginal cost, the approximate 95% confidence interval for the price elasticity of demand suggests the optimal price probably lies between blank. So it's talking about a confidence interval for the price elasticity of demand. Well, we know that the coefficient on the ln of p variable is the price elasticity of demand, which in this case is negative 4.5. So the elasticity is negative 4.5. We know that the 95% confidence interval is going to be the, the elasticity plus and minus two times that variable's standard error, which in this case, the standard error is 1.5. So when we do negative 4.5 plus and minus two times 1.5, we find that our lower control limit of the elasticity of demand is negative 7.5, and our upper control limit of the elasticity of demand is negative 1.5. So we're gonna find a profit maximizing price at each of those elasticities. Well, the profit maximizing price at the lower control limit elasticity is $2 of marginal cost times, now we're gonna use our negative 7.5 for our elasticity, and we find the price is equal to 2.31. The profit maximizing price at the upper control limit elasticity is again our same marginal cost, but now we're using the elasticity of negative 1.5, and we find that the price of the upper control limit elasticity is $6. Suppose she plans to open a new location at which she will charge a price of $7, so the LN of 7 is 1.95, and spend $300 per week advertising, the LN of 300 is 5.7. Also, at the new location, the log of population is 11.5, and the log of per capita income is 10.5. So they've done some work, they've just given that to us in the log form already. The predicted log of quantity at the new location is blank. So they're just asking us what is the predicted log of quantity, and they've given us all of our relevant numbers. So we can just plug in each component and add them up, and we find that the LN of quantity, after we've done some algebra, is equal to 4.186.